Thomas, we spent some time here at Fire and Spice, mm -hmm. and you prepared this really, really delicious, tender duck confit with a duck leg. Would you serve it like this, or would you do something else with it? I would probably shred it and put it in a taco. With your audience, mm -hmm. you know, you had mentioned, I know, ceviche, you had ceviche on the food truck. How'd that go? Not great. It's a hard sell when somebody doesn't know what it is. How do you decide what's going to go on the menu? Well, that's where the food truck really came into handy because a lot of our menu items actually came from either uh, a joke or um, putting it on as a special and it really took off. And sometimes the jokes work. Uh, the, the biggest joke that we have here is the Russian roulette. One of the three tacos has fresh habaneros in it and you don't know which one until you bite into it. And right, that was right. a joke and it's probably our number two seller out of everything oh, here. Oh, very cool. You do carnitas here, right? We do. What do you call them? Uh, we, pull, we call them pulled pork because we're in Alabama and we kind of have to. And they don't, they don't, haven't quite caught on to what carnitas no, are but yet? it's, uh, I mean, they're made the same way as regular carnitas would be made. Tell me the, the difference between Mexican food and Southwestern food. The biggest difference is it's a fusion of two foods. So you've got the Mexican spices that are meeting the uh, Texas beef really, or Texas meats in general, and the smoke from Texas with the spices of Mexico. What's one of the most unusual questions you've had asked? Uh, whether our brisket is pork or beef. And uh, I can tell you it's gonna be beef every time. <laughs> so what's your secret to brisket? Because brisket, you know, you'll go places and the brisket will just be this chopped up, falling apart mm -hmm. thing. And then there's others where it's sliced but still moist and you've got the smoke ring. What style do you have here? Uh, we do both. We keep a lot of fat on one side and we make the other side lean. So right. we get we can do the slices and the chopped. And then it's cooked for over 13 hours with mesquite wood. And uh, what sets us a little bit different from everybody else, a lot of people just do salt and pepper. We do a special rub on ours, which is uh, Texas coffee is the base of it. So ours has that caramelized coffee like taste that. to it. Right, right. Do you wrap your brisket? Uh, we don't. Um, I like to go all the way with, without the wrap, Take and then time, go I, we wrap it at the very end for the, maybe the last 30 minutes, but I try to keep it. I want that nice caramelized on top. Preference of wood? Um, we only use mesquite in here. It's Texas, right? It's, te it's central and south, south Texas for sure, so we only use that. This is staring at me right here. It is. See ya. <laughs>